only do you have Curtivoo this weekend, you also have so many other Halloween themed things going on between now and Halloween. I still need to make my Halloween cutout cookies this week. There's a lot of events that are being hosted by Nordsea, including the Thriller Flash Mob. And this sounds like so much fun. I just absolutely love Flash Mob. So joining us this morning, Rick Richards and Kent Bryan. Thank you guys so much for coming. And talk to us about what you guys are doing for Halloween. You want to start, Kent? Well, Fitnola at Nordsea. Um, we're presenting our um, sixth annual flash mob in front of the City Hall steps at 12 p.m. Halloween day. So we're inviting citizens from all across Louisiana and neighboring states to come and join us. So you can just come and join the flash mob even if you don't know the dance? That's no, right. you have to know the dance. Well, you can okay. actually come and join the, you can come and join the flash mob, but we require that you should know portions of the dance at least. There are three classes that we're offering on Tuesday at the Treme Center at 6.30. This um, Tuesday? October 24th. Okay. Wednesday, uh, 6, 5.30 um, uh, and 6.30. And um, Saturday, October 28th at 11.15 a.m. So anybody at can Stalin come. Stalin St. Claude's. Anybody can come. come to so courses. everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, Katie, mm -hmm. everybody normally takes, wink, wink, a long lunch on Halloween. <laughs> yes. And the place to be is at the foot of City Hall in your costume, and we have children, adults, and it's just a great time for a, a long lunch. And do you have a lot of people, we're showing the flash mob right now, do a lot of people come out and watch? Oh my goodness, yes. yes. They come from like Mississippi. Oh my gosh, To participate, so not yeah. only watch, but participate as we, well. Uh, we, uh, we close the street. We get a permit That's to awesome. close the street for an hour on Halloween day in front of the steps on the Perdido Street side of City Hall. And talk to us also about Spooktacular, what you guys are doing that. So, uh, 10 of the 12 rec centers that we have across the city uh, host actual Halloween events. So games, face painting, uh, carnival type games, also costume contests, and I'm sure you know we'll have candy. Yeah, the parents course. will be mad and the dentists will be on our, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's a safe space, a fun space. Uh, it is uh, very heartwarming to see. You have full families from the babies to the older uh, siblings, and, and both parents or grandmother, and they're all dressed up in costumes. So uh, it's just, you know, public recreation doing what it's supposed to do, creating a social growth environment for its population. And it's really fun and safe for the families. That's perfect. So how do you guys find out more information if people want to know more? Nordsea.org. Awesome. We will put that link onto our website so you guys can get more information that way. Sports is next.